it's me Nadex and today I'd like to show you a couple of things that you want to make before you start playing uh, Real of the Mad God. It's generally the basic settings but I think that some of them might be quite crucial when you play the game. So the first but pretty much the most important thing is the escape to, ne uh, escape to Nexus key. You want this to be set on something you can press anytime. And now I, when I say anytime, I mean basically anytime. You want this on a key that's somewhere near your main control keys. I mean, uh, WASD keys. I use tab because Q and E is basically used for the rotation, but you can use almost anything. But I recommend using something that's always under one of your fingers. In my case this is under my uh, ring finger or at least very close to it. I'd also recommend you if you have a uh, if you have a mouse that has some extra buttons like those some uh, macro buttons, I recommend you setting up one of those buttons or binding them to this key just in case you're doing something with your hand that you would normally have on the keyboard just in case I don't know you're scratching your nose and a wall of guts comes near you and you want to uh, you want to get to Nexus, but you can't get your hand on the keyboard fast enough. You want this to be bound on your mouse as well. And press the key on the mouse, and and boom, you're in Nexus. Problem solved. Well, the next thing I want to I want to talk about is rotation. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, and um, I think that it's not really necessary to. To play with like the off-centered camera and just you know, like, like I know I get the idea why people use that, but I personally often find myself you know just tired of that and just I uh, just play like this because I most of the time I just look at the minimap and I just look whether there are some enemies or not, and based on that I I do some stuff like I basically play based on the minimap rather than the screen itself because you can't really see all that much anyways so that's it uh, you should have these two keys set up to something something reasonable because you might just run into some situations when you need to clean things up to calm everything down and you want to center the camera and uh, get back to the center mode so I use the RNC um, the next thing is this the interact slash buy key. It's uh, basically, in in case you don't know, it's the key that basically activates this. In in case you're standing on something, it activates it. It's as simple as that. I don't really think that it's necessary, but I use it because I find it a little more comfortable than clicking. The next thing are these two keys. They are quite good thing to know. In case you're playing knight or priest, you want to you want to use the mana potions maybe then you might as well want to use this key it's quite good the health potions pretty much the same story in case you don't have a good enough pet or you just don't feel comfortable running around with low HP you might want to use the health potions um, and to do that it's pretty much the easiest way just to use a, the keys set up here Rather than clicking on those potions, that's not very, not very comfortable thing. Um, I don't really think there's anything important in here. Otherwise, yeah. Well, the only thing um, that I forgot about, that's this key. You should turn off this key because it's rather annoying when you accidentally turn on or off the hardware acceleration, and you're. Well, I I'm not really sure whether it's like a real problem because I haven't experienced it. But I feel like turning on and off of uh, the hardware acceleration could actually cause quite um, quite lag, so it could be a little unfortunate. So I recommend you not like you don't really need to turn it off and on while playing. So I don't really think it's all that important. Um, the next thing is this. It's basically the quick reply button, but it's called Big and Tell. But what it's mainly used for is when you're trying to reply to someone's message without really writing their name, right? So that's a good thing. Um, the star requirements, yeah, that's a good thing. If you want to get rid of the spamming bots in Nexus, 
this is probably the best thing. It also gets rid of all the people begging for items. Quite a good thing. Other than that, there's really nothing too important. You should always have the guild chat on, unless you're in some kind of guild with a lot of spammers. Um, here, what do we have here? Yeah, you should use some custom cursor because it's generally better than the standard cursor. But in case you don't feel like doing that, you can just use whatever cursor you feel like, right? You should turn off the shadows and the tips as they just, you know, the tips are rather useless things. I mean, I don't really know. I haven't seen them in quite a while, but I don't really think there was anything important. Uh, the shadows, they just use your computer's performance, but uh, I mean, it looks nice, right? But it doesn't look all that nice, so I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, they look better with the hardware, hardware acceleration off. But then once again, you want the hardware acceleration on because, well, I mean, if you have like a high-end computer, you can turn this on and this off and this on and the game looks better, but the it's harder to play. I mean, you can you can get like lag spikes and overall less FPS and higher input lag. Not a good thing, I would say. Um, other than that, I don't really think there is anything important except the HP bars. HP bar is a rather good thing. Um, well, I'm not really sure whether you can see other players' HP, but it's always good to see your HP on your character because you don't have to look here, and that might just as well save your life. Uh, and the last thing is the sound effect. Other than that, everything is pretty pointless. Music, that, that only gets annoying as you play for a longer time. Weapon sounds, they get annoying and they are just pretty well they are annoying just all the time but the sound effects as uh, as annoying as they might appear they're actually quite good because you can hear the backdrops even when they are not on your screen so when you get like a potion bag or something like that you might as well find yourself uh, looking for the bag and it's not on your screen right and you know that there was a backdrop thanks to this so it's, I think that's it's a quite good thing, but it's like, in case those sound effects get annoying to you, you might just as well turn them off, it's not a necessary thing. And uh, I'd say that's all for today, and thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day playing the game, I guess, and see you next time.